Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mild weather and our storm system, leaving us with a powder day here in Colorado, down into northern New Mexico as well. Take a look at uh, Aspen Mountain here. So Aspen Snowmass reporting 11 inches in the last 24 hours. That's definitely higher than what I was forecasting, but I bet you it is just an unbelievable powder day up there, especially up in the bowl. I mean, it's, that's the Aspen, the main Ajax camera, their snow stake set up right there. Um, just amazing day, I'm sure. Let me take you down to Wolf Creek. They're reporting six Six inches, and uh, there's your view um, down in the, from Prospector Ridge. But um, Wolf Creek's on my list of places to definitely watch for the storm system, the cycle setting up for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. I think Wolf Creek could be one of the bullseyes with this next setup. Um, let's go down to Taos. Uh, they're reporting six inches. Absolutely beautiful there. Um, look at everything just coated in snow. This is good stuff. And the storm cycle for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week will also benefit greatly northern New Mexico. So let me show you what's going on. Um, our storm system that is just now departing is about right here. So it's moving out of Colorado, out of northern New Mexico, and moving into the heartland where it's going to be a major weather producer. All right, so there's a lot of action can kind of see it right here and uh, kind of running through a stream up into here up into the northern parts of uh, closing in on uh, Alaska so this whole feed of moisture will then ride with the jet and then eventually it's going to come down and become that storm set up for next week and it now looks like there will be two separate storm systems next week so the, I talked about this yesterday there might have been a little storm sort of piggybacking or hiding on the back side of the of the main storm for next week. Well, that, that appears to be the case now. So let me just show you how this could play out. Um, this is the, uh, the GFS's interpretation of this. And let me take you into, um, so Friday morning. Friday morning, rain changing over to snow in the northeast at the ski areas, especially Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. And then that will be followed by a Alberta Clipper and Alberta Clipper on Saturday in those areas for some light additional accumulations. Out west, we're going to get a two to three day dry break. So pretty much all weekend for most of the Intermountain West. Here's Saturday morning. Um, here is Sunday morning. Notice the storm or the front coming down from B.C., uh, Alberta, and then dropping down into Montana, Idaho. And there's a storm system hitting the Pacific Northwest. That becomes our initial setup for early next week. So watch what happens Sunday. Sunday night drops south. By Monday morning, you've got a low dropping down through parts of uh, Utah with a strong Arctic front almost coming down through Montana, Wyoming. This is going to be a much colder um, setup with this storm system than the one we just dealt with. It'll have strong winds as well. Um, so here's Monday afternoon, Monday night. Look at the, the wind just cranking in Wyoming in parts of Utah and in Colorado. Um, here's Tuesday morning, snow in Colorado, um, some snow on the backside as well up in Wyoming and Utah. Um, that, that's not it, look to the west, look what's happening. Um, there's energy sliding in, it's piggybacking on this first storm. So Tuesday night, Wednesday, you can already see it coming in out of California, you see that? And then it makes its move and reintroduces snow or reintensifies the snow in southern Utah, southern Colorado, and northern New Mexico through the 24th, and then it kind of fades away after that. So there's a little extra on the back side, and then that moves out, and that's probably going to be it for a while. Um, what are the indications are for, uh, for after the 24th? What, what will happen in late February and around the 1st of March? The data is still split. There's a possibility that um, high pressure rebuilds, which is kind of what this is hinting at right here, and I've been talking about that on my blog as well. All right, so let me take you into my totals. Um, this is what I'm thinking all of today through the 26th. So this captures that one, two combo for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this of this upcoming week, this next week, if you will. Um, so my numbers in Colorado are really big, one to two feet, especially the western slope down into the southern mountains of Colorado and then into northern New Mexico. I think those numbers in northern New Mexico could go up um, because the first storm that comes through it's colder, strong winds that'll help to drive the snow production, but then the storm on the back side will come up from the south and potentially add more snow into a lot of those areas. My numbers through the Wasatch and into the Tetons are holding steady, anywhere from 10 to 13 inches. I'm not sure what I want to do with those just yet. Um, I want to see how far south this first storm digs, how much cold air there is, what the exact wind direction is, and how strong the winds are. And we'll know that. 
um, more tomorrow and Saturday as to how this thing's going to shake out. But I'm keeping things kind of steady in those areas. Pacific Northwest, obviously, with that next storm coming in, you've got some good numbers ahead. Um, Interior BC looking good and Banff looking good. And finally, a little bit of action for California. It's not big, but at least it's something at this point. All right, let's look at the uh, snow plume I've got set up for Wolf Creek. This was one of my areas to watch. I think potentially we're looking at two to three feet if that piggybacking storm comes in as advertised. We could be looking at a big bullseye there for Wolf Creek. And even the San Juans in general of Colorado are going to be probably in that two foot range if all this comes together. Let me look at the northeast. All right, so um, this takes into account the, the rain over to snow an Alberta Clipper, and then a larger storm potentially for the 25th, 26th. I'd say 50% of what you see here probably comes on the 25th, 26th if that storm comes together. So we could be looking at some decent totals if all that comes together. All right, so we got a lot to look forward to. I always appreciate you guys tuning in on these updates. Um, take care. Find some good snow.